You're listening to Corsilia Podcast. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about checking into a hotel. Before we begin with this lesson, we want to let you know that the best way to study and benefit from this lesson is to check the lesson's written transcript, which contains all the lesson's vocabulary and clarifying examples. To get all of that, what you have to do is to visit our website, cursilia.com slash podcast. It is also important to listen to the episode at least twice for better results. Let's tell you the plan for this episode. Today we are going to learn some expressions that you can use when you check into a hotel. So first we are going to listen to a conversation between a receptionist and a guest checking into a hotel. Then we will discuss what we heard together and check all the new words and expressions. Great Ben, let's listen to today's conversation together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified when a new episode is released. Hello. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Paradise Hotel. How can I help you this evening? I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, sir. What name is the reservation under? It is under the name Jack McMillan. Do you have your booking confirmation? I do. Here it is. Okay. Thank you. One moment. Yes, Mr. McMillan. We've reserved a single room for you with a sea view for three nights. Is that correct? Yes, it is. All right. You are all set. Here is your key card. You're in room 402. It's a single queen-size bed, spacious, and non-smoking. Okay, great. We hold a $100 deposit for security purposes. It will be refunded after your stay. That's okay, I understand. What time is breakfast served at? Complimentary breakfast is served in the lobby between 8 and 10 a.m. Can I get a wake-up call? Sure. Also, you can call the front desk if you need any extra towels or pillows. Do you need any help with your luggage? No, thank you. I can carry them myself. No problem, sir. Enjoy your stay. We will now break down the key expressions that we heard in that conversation. So let's begin with how the conversation went. We had a receptionist and a guest whose name is Jack McMillan. The receptionist started by asking him what name is the reservation under. And he said it is under the name Jack McMillan. So, under the name, is usually used when you make a reservation, you can say, I have a reservation under the name and then say your name. The second expression we have is, booking confirmation, which means the written confirmation issued to you by the hotel confirming or making sure that you have a reservation. To confirm means to establish the truth or correctness of, something previously believed. Booking has the same meaning as making a reservation. So you can say, I would like to make a reservation, or I'd like to book a room, or I'd like to reserve a room. All of them are correct. Then we have the receptionist say, we've reserved a single room for you with a sea view for three nights. Hotels have either single rooms or double rooms, so he booked a single room. He also has the option to choose the view he sees from the room. It can be a sea view, a garden view, or an ocean view, it depends on where he is actually. 
Then the receptionist said that he would have a single queen-size bed, spacious and non-smoking. A queen-size bed is a bed that is larger or longer than normal size, but smaller or shorter than a king-size bed. Spacious means big. A non-smoking area in a public place is an area in which people are not allowed to smoke. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get notified when a new episode is released. You are all set. To be all set means that something is finished and done, so you can go to the next stage. The receptionist also said, we hold a $100 deposit for security purposes. It will be refunded after your stay. Let's break this phrase down. Deposit, if you deposit money, it means you put it there. So, deposit for security purposes. The point of a security deposit is to ensure the establishment that the guest will cover all charges necessary. Refund. If someone refunds your money, they return it to you. Complimentary breakfast. The meaning of complimentary is free. If your hotel includes breakfast with the price of your room, they may call it a complimentary breakfast. Luggage is another word for a bag. At the end, the receptionist wished him to enjoy his stay, which meant she wished him to have a good day at the hotel. Now we reached the end of our today's episode. Remember to listen to it at least twice to make sure that you get the most out of this podcast series. Well, that's it for today, Corsilians. Have a nice day and happy learning.